Hey everyone, it's me, Sega Mega, back again with more Sonic content on classic Sega consoles. I know, I know, I thought I had done all the classic 2D Sonic games, and while that's mostly still true, mostly, I have, more or less, covered all that really needs to be talked about. So, sorry Sonic Pinball fans, I won't be doing a video on that one. Today's video is actually more than just one Sonic game. It's about Sega as a whole. You see, 1994 was the height of Sega's success, but also the beginning of the end. In 1994, the Sega Saturn launched in Japan with cutting-edge 3D graphics. It would be a hit in Japan, even outselling Nintendo, and the new kid on the block, Sony. Sega had taken the top spot in gaming in their own home country, something the company had never done before. It made the boys at Sega HQ a little cocky, but as their market share in Japan increased, it severely plummeted in North America. I remember in the mid-90s, knowing a kid with a Sega Saturn was unheard of. They were treated like urban legend, only to be spoken of in whispers. That's a bit of an exaggeration, I know. But the emergence of the PlayStation and its many killer IPs made the Sega Saturn look like a worse option to consumers here in the US. Most games for the Saturn were never localized, thus the game pool was sparse, leaving most Saturn players with nothing else to play but BUG! I was too poor to afford a Sega Saturn when it finally came out in the US in May of 95. But boy did I want one. I would read about it non-stop in Sega Power and feast my eyes on the screen caps of the next gen games I could play. One game in particular caught my eye. No shock that it was a Sonic game. Sonic Extreme was the Sonic game being made for the Sega Saturn. And Holy moly did I want to play this game. So bad. 3D was still this new thing in gaming that hadn't had all its quirks worked out yet. Thus why Sonic took an extra few years making the jump. That said, by 1998, we had Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Crash Bandicoot, and Spiro. And still no 3D Sonic game. Well, there was one, technically. Sonic 3D Blast was a quasi-three-dimensional isometric platformer released for the Sega Genesis and the Sega Saturn in 1996. If none of that made any sense to you, all that you need to know is that the 3D part was total hedgehog crap. Sonic 3D Blast was still technically a 2D gaming experience. Heck, even the blast part of the title was a stretch. Yes, I know, I know. Sega Mega saying something bad about a Sonic game. There's a first time for everything. And well, Sonic 3D Blast was the first time I walked away from a Sonic game unsatisfied. It's no shock that the first Sonic game to really switch up the tried and true formula isn't the one I took to very well. I mean, I'm the guy who played the first zone of Sonic 3 over and over again for nearly 30 years. I like consistency, I will admit that. Sonic 3D Blast's issues, though, are more than just not being like the other Sonic games in the franchise. The whole game is just running around these boring looking maps and collecting a bunch of little animals and bringing them to a hoop. It's not exactly a blast. Seems like more of a piece of shit game if you ask me. It's a fucking disgrace, Sega. Why would you ever put that out there? What happened to the old 2D formula? Why couldn't you just translate that into 3D like you did later in Sonic Adventures? I don't know why you had to go through this whole era of doing this weird ass half 2D, half 3D. It was boring. It was a really fucking boring game. 
The maps being pretty mediocre is where it hurts the game the most. Exploration is a lot of fun in Sonic games, but this is the first game where I just wanted to get it over with. I was so disappointed that I had to tell myself that the Sega Saturn version I saw on the Blockbuster shelf was likely the real deal, and that the Genesis copy I had was just some watered down port. My, um, friend, Noah, he was my friend at the time, at least. He had a Sega Saturn. He never used it. In fact, all he would do is tell me how bad it is compared to his PlayStation or N64. He had all the current gen consoles at the time. His family was rich enough to spoil him with choices. I got so jealous of Noah that I started to hate him for everything. I was really only friends with Noah for one common interest in Sonic. Outside of that, I never really liked him as a person. He was crass, annoying, and whiny. He never shut up and he never listened. I would just ignore him as I played his Sega Saturn in his room, hoping he'd get bored and go jerk off in the bathroom with his drawings that he never wanted to share with me. Still, he had a Sega Saturn, so I put up with it so I could play whatever Saturn game I had rented that weekend. I'll never forget the day I bought a copy of Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. The graphical differences didn't add much to 3D Blast's already lackluster experience. To add salt to the wound, Noah sat there and laughed. I had to hype up the Saturn version of 3D Blast as a better, more refined version of the game, when it turned out just to be a polish on a turd. Noah said, another Sega Mega fail. Never forgot that. I told him that Sonic Extreme would come out and be the true Sonic 3D experience, but I waited and waited for Sonic Extreme, and it never came. When somebody told Noah and I that Extreme had been cancelled, what did he say? Another Sega Mega fail! Noah and I stopped seeing each other as time went on. There were less and less Sega Saturn games to play, and so less of an excuse for me to put up with him. Then one day I saw Sonic Jam sitting on the shelf of Blockbuster. I had never seen it before. I looked on the back, and I about lost my rings at the sight of the screen cap. 3D Sonic! For real! It couldn't be! I rented the game, and I called up Noah to tell him. He seemed to think I was full of it, but I told him he could see the case for himself when I came over. His parents weren't home, and it was a sunny day, perfect for some gaming. I spin-dashed over as fast as I could to Noah and knocked on his door. I remember thinking that this was the first time I was outside Noah's door, and I was eager to go inside. Of course, it was for nothing more than his Sega Saturn. But I was the only kid in America who wanted a Sega Saturn. He opened the door and he looked like he usually did. Grumpy. He told me he heard that Sonic Jam was just a compilation. Yeah, with a full 3D world, I remember shouting. We raced up to his room and put the game in. And I gotta say, Seeing the shocked look on Noah's face was the most satisfying moment of our entire friendship. Well, second most. We played the level, and the more we did, the more excited I got that this was more than just a hub world for a much larger game. Noah wasn't buying it. He wouldn't let me have this moment. I didn't care. I was so sure. I charged ahead as fast as Sonic himself. And, let's just say, I beat the whole thing in under 10 minutes. There were no other 3D stages in Sonic Jam. I was speechless and defeated. Noah, ever the smug asshole, said his favorite little line, Another Sega Mega fail. I wanted to punch him. 
but instead I thought of my mom and the lecture she gave me after I got in the fight with Chester. You're better than this. I cried. I couldn't stop myself. I just cried. That made Noah laugh so hard. He thought it was so funny that I cried over a Sonic game. He had no idea what these games meant to me. I got mad at him, screamed, cursed, and spat, but that just made it worse. He just kept laughing. He just kept laughing and laughing and laughing until... Until... <laughs> until... Until... <laughs> until his asthma started flaring up. Uh, you see, Noah had life-threatening asthma. He fell over so quickly I thought it was a joke. But when I saw all that self-satisfied enjoyment at my misery was truly gone from his eyes, I knew it was real. He pointed at his bed. It was where he last left his inhaler. I grabbed it, and instead of giving it to him, I took it for myself. <laughs> uh, I just sat there and watched him with each pleading gasp he gave. <laughs> I took a hit of his inhaler right in front of him. <laughs> uh, I did it until the damn thing was nearly empty and my chest felt too big. I finally gave him one last hit right before it seemed too late. Uh, there was nothing left in the inhaler. What a shame. Another Sega Mega Fail, I guess. <laughs> His parents were told that he had an attack. I did my best, but the inhaler was empty. They were grateful that I tried to save him. They even later gave me his Sega Saturn, as they felt Noah would have wanted me to have it. <laughs> uh, the Saturn would be my main Sega 3D console for a while, until I was able to get my hands on a Dreamcast, with a copy of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. That's a story for another time. Kind of a funny one, like this. <laughs> for another time. <clears throat> it might be the last time. We might need to see how things turn out after this episode. Until then, please like and subscribe to the Sega Mega channel.